What's up everybody? ED to play here for an all new edition of What's in the Box. Today we're going to take a look at the Dino Drag Fun Pack for the month of September. Now this box is a preamble to Halloween and if you read DinosaurDracula.com I'm sure you're well aware of his penchant for anything that concerns Halloween. So I'm really excited to take a look to see what's in here. Sure, he's got the article up on the site that basically tells you what's in it, but that's cheating. So why don't we just go ahead and find out what kind of Halloween goodies we got in this box here. Did you see what was on top? We got some snacks. Pretzels, potato chips, we got a fruit roll up in there. Salty, sweet, all different kind of stuff. Best part is, it's all Halloween themed. And I don't know if you can see these, but these are Sour Patch Zombie Kids. I didn't even know that they made these. I can't tell you how excited I am to just tear this bag open and eat the whole thing. Okay, so putting the food aside, let's take a look at what else we got. Right here we have an eerie orb. I've never heard of eerie orbs before. It's probably some kind of mad ball knockoff. And this is what I got. Looks like a little face on a ball. It's kind of heavy, about the size of a golf ball. It's creepy. I'll say that. I don't know if it bounces. Doesn't bounce very well, but whatever. It's more collector's item anyway. And I got this cute little bag to go with it, so pretty neat. And moving on, we have La Muerte. So that means the death. This is another one of those Spanish knockoff figures that Matt seems to like to include in the fun packs. And I say it's a knockoff, but it looks pretty damn good to me. It's got some green around the skeleton, makes that skull stand out, and gives it a nice contrast to the black rope. This one is probably going to make its way into the Halloween town. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it in there, but it seems like it's going to fit in pretty well. What else do we have in the box? Dino Drac specimen number 26. Now this is a film cell from the 1988 horror classic Child's Play. Now you can't really see the cell itself, but when I hold it up to the light, I can see that it looks like Katherine Hicks holding the Chucky doll, looking at it with disdain. Probably something that I would do as well, because fucking Chucky, man. So, I worked in a movie theater for three years. I really like film and anything relating to film. So, film cell in the box is a pretty neat addition. The fact that it's a uh, child's play, I can take or leave. But I have to admit it is a classic Halloween horror type movie. So, definitely made some sense. No fun pack would ever be complete without some trading cards. Luckily, we got three packs right here. So first one we got, Little Shop of Horrors. I didn't know they made a card series out of Little Shop of Horrors, but here we got five stickers and some bubble gum. I'm not going to eat that bubble gum. I love Little Shop of Horrors. It's a great movie. Probably going to watch it at some point in October for part of 31 Days of Halloween. It's going to fit in real nicely. Next pack, we got Coca-Cola Monsters of the Gridiron. Now, these are from 1994. I don't know what they're about. They're officially licensed by the NFL, so I'm going to assume it's some kind of mashup between Universal Monsters and football. Instead of just making guesses, why don't we go ahead and open it up and find out what's in there. And last up, we got a pack of the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Now, the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles was a short-lived television show. 
that showcased a lot of the early adventures of Indiana Jones. So anyway, we're going to rip this open, find out what we got, put it in the card binder, and go about our business. Bet you we thought we were done with the trading cards. Not even close. We got a bunch of packs of trading card treats. Now, in addition to the Universal Studios monsters and the Archie cards, we also got five packs of the Marvel cards. Now, these were put together back in 1991 as an alternative to giving candy to trick-or-treaters. I don't know how prevalent they were. I do remember having a full set of the Marvel cards because I was a huge comic book nerd. I say was at the time. So I kind of had to find them out and get them all for myself. Now when I saw these in the box, I tried to look for the ones that I had. I have no idea where they are. So this pretty much replaces the lost gems that I had. And I'm very excited about that. Because now they can be part of my Dino Drac card binder forever. And we have the ugly poster and the Dino Drac stickers. Now as you can see, there's three stickers here. I got two stickers for this month and one from last October. I don't know if I just got lucky on the draw and got myself a few extra stickers or if Matt really likes me. But that was pretty surprising to see a bunch of extra stickers in the box. Uh, I'll find some place to put these. Oh, and the ugly poster. Pretty cool. Got some Halloween type stuff. There's a little Freddy in the corner. Some Ghostbusters thing. Nice collage of different Halloween toys. So, good stuff. And lastly, we have the personal essay. Each fun pack comes packed with an exclusive essay typed up by Matt from Dino Drac, basically recounting his tales as a youngin on the East Coast. This one, as you can see, is titled Trick or Treat. I'm not going to give you any other information for that because I don't want to spoil the surprise. If you want to find out what these essays are all about, you are going to have to subscribe to the fun pack. And there we have the September fun pack. So some really good stuff in there. Got some really cool snacks, too. Can't wait to eat the hell out of those, if you know what I mean. Um, there's no subtext there, but whatever. So if you like the Dino Drac Fun Pack and you want to pick it up yourself, you can head over to DinosaurDracula.com and sign up right from the site. I'll also put a link down in the description so you can just click on over and you don't have to do all that typing and stuff. As always, thanks for watching What's in the Box. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more What's in the Box videos just like this one and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't like it give it a thumbs up anyway and make sure you follow me idiot at play on twitter and instagram and you can also like the page on facebook caution idiot at play so as always i am mike the idiot at play and we'll see you next time